That's what happens when you Johnny come lately ass niggas like Crazy J you don't come to Hardin County till about 2004, 2005 on the tail end after I'm gone. A lot don't give a damn who tell it. Y'all gonna sit there and let him watch this shit right here. That's Listen. what happens when you Johnny come lately ass niggas like Crazy J you don't come to Hardin County till about 2004, 2005 on the tail end after I'm gone. You 10 years off, bro. Man, I came here in mid-90s. What are you talking about? Ask anybody that went to the army in 95, 96. That's how I'm tripping off. How they letting you get away with saying some shit like that. And they should be telling you, oh, wait, 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 wait. Richin is one thing, but that damn crazy Jace a whole different animal right there. Yeah, so just like you got, you know, your authority on Hardin County music. Well, motherfucker, I got mine too. Yeah, you were the executive. You were the Barry Gordy of the city. But let's not forget, I'm the apex of the pyramid, bro. I'm the DJ. Wasn't no internet back then. If you didn't have a plug for your music to get to the next state, it went there through me. And on top of it, I was the illest and the rawest. You never heard records mixed the way that I did them. They had to extend the club hours from 11 to 4 because we were killing it so bad up there. Had the wildest mixtapes on the street. People come from all over motherfucking Kentucky to hear this dude. I'm not making this up. Jay Chandler was the coach. Used to call him DJ Crazy J. Used to come out there, Afro wig and a fur coat, and kill it. The man have all kinds of shit going. And people would love it. Couldn't get off the dance floor. This motherfucker had that bitch packed. The club had three clubs in it. The other clubs hardly had nobody in them, but they kept them open to have the bartenders there to serve the drinks to keep the lines from being so long in the club where I was DJing. This is no bullshit, man. They had like a partition that I think they were like pushed back after 500 people in there. Walls be sweating. The line to get in the club about three miles long, and it was worth the wait, too, because once you get in there, you was going to have the time of your life. Made the armor in the place to be. They didn't want to pay him what he wanted, so he left. They started trying to get the other DJs to play the same records, but they couldn't mix them the way that Jay mixed. They started losing money because the crowd started noticing, these niggas sound like Jay, but it ain't Jay. When people stopped going to the club, they stopped making money, and they had to shut that bitch down. Matter of fact, they leveled that motherfucker. It ain't even there no more. Jay Chandler was the best DJ that whole town had ever seen. Anybody that ever told you differently was a fat Faison liar.